this for most of the night. Shown some huge promise already, the 18-year-old, and draws the foul on Noy. First team foul for the Taipans, 9 minutes 30 to, in the first. Josh Giddy, obviously the son of, of Illawarra Hawk fame and Melbourne Tigers great. Warwick Giddy, you'll probably hear about him a lot during the season. So many exciting stories from, from Warwick Giddy's that year. He's hungry. I feel like he's going to be a big difference for the Taipans this year in the absence of Newbills. Newbill added 19 a game for the Taipans. Who's going to fill that void? Well, Noy's certainly answering the, answering the call right now. And his season was so interrupted last year with injury, he never really found his feet. But he had those NBA ambitions when he came in, which I believe is still there. Krizlovic from the corner. So it'll be Machado. a great, great opportunity for Quat this year. Machado finding Krizlovic in the corner now. Machado had 15 assists in the closed door game against Adelaide, just gone by. So Machado's uh, certainly the mobile bigs. What does Nathan Jawa bring to the table that's different? Well, it's certainly a unique body. When they when they can put him out there and go to him, he's actually been more of a, uh, a feeder, a bit of an, uh, an offensive. <laughs> Noy, second year player against the next star. Uh, Giddy gets it to go. Nice left hand finish. Good use of the body there. Giddy at an 18-year-old with NBA potential. Well, almost certainty, I should say. They're touting him as uh, top no 10. Boom. Get possession. Giddy to steady it down with the last possession of the quarter. Looking for that high pick and pop with Johnson. Jaway on the hard show. Giddy able to draw the contact and we've got five fouls. We'll be going to the free throw line for two. Seven seconds left in the quarter. The type ends to give one more chance. That's actually a really mature play from Giddy. Understanding the foul situation, the time on the clock. Knowing that you're going to get two free throws and initiating that contact with Jawai. Giddy, four points. Misses their first free throw. been there for, D for Daniel Johnson. It's probably refreshing in his mind. He's been there uh, since, since 2010, uh, I believe, a, a long time. Had a small stint in Europe, of course, but long-time player for the 36ers. It was to see Jawai back down and do reverse, uh, do a spin on the post, unable to get it to connect. 36ers down to DJ early, and they get the one-point lead in the second quarter. Just a great finisher, Daniel Johnson. Kenny to Naitai, exploring, back to Blagojevic. Jawai in the post. Your sideline inbound and baseline inbound, such a huge part of the game. Like, people don't really realise you've got to have that package tight and you've got to have everyone switched on. It's uh, such an advantage if you take care of that. you just got to check that box and make sure you got your sideline players done. It's Giddy. Oh, my left goodness. Left hand. Fake the, the handoff. Drove it hard on that left hand. Rose up off one. Threw it down with two. Oh, my goodness. Hung on the rim, too, with authority. Huge play by Giddy. What would you make of that, Matt Smith? That's, that's a level of athleticism I'd heard about but hadn't seen from the young man. And he just went sky high on that and went through the contact. That came with ease. Machado off to... Krizlovic unable to get it, but Oliver there for the, the putback. That was a huge play by Giddy. He, he, he faked the, the one-hand handoff. Great movement by 36ers as again they find an easy deuce by Johnson, throws it down. 36ers moving the ball well. They found a couple of nice little sneaky backdoor cuts there for 36ers. They haven't always managed to deliver the pass, but they've been open there a lot. Jarek lets one go from three. And Giddy with the rebound. A bit rushed on that three ball. He thought he was fouled. Giddy hard on that left hand again. Johnson slicing through. Foul, the foul count for his, uh, his players, his team. Sending the tight ends to so many easy buckets. Can't give away easy free throws. Uh, to expect to be at the, the, in the winner's circle at the end of the game. Giddy on that left hand once again. Just uh, extending. Nice little left hand hook to try and... Uh, Get the uh, the M1 play, but we'll head to the stripe for two. Identified Krizlovic, probably more of a four than he is a perimeter player. And Josh Giddy just put his head down and goes. When you come off that on ball so fast and the, the bigs are showing, then you end up...
being stretched, then the big has to call out switch, and then that's when Giddy really, uh, you know, put on the jets and just took the uh, the big to the rim, drawing the contact. He's shown a lot of uh, obvious Oliver to do the right thing. Giddy off the middle on ball, hard show by the Taipans. The pass deflected. King tightly on Giddy. I think uh, it's probably a good defensive matchup for King. Is uh, he's got the speed and quickness to hang with Giddy. It's, the, it's what you wanted, isn't it? This is it. It's happening this is it. in this real is, time. This is it happening in real time. Pinder. Pinder. Nice little dropper from Giddy. The big two-hand flush. He got up quick too. For, for Joey Wright, but a different style. Uh, change can be as good as a holiday sometimes. Uh, and a, a different look 36 is uh, taking to the floor uh, with Coach Connor Henry and a defensive-minded Jamie Perlman, the assistant coach. Uh, I think a lot, of, a lot of things to get excited about for uh, Adelaide fans. Well, you experienced a coach change from a more fiery style to a more relaxed style, I guess you could say, from from Fernie to Mike Kelly. What, what did that feel like? What's it like coming in with that? that yeah, for, for Coach Kelly, uh, they really bonded well as a at Monday night for the, really, uh, the, the Gryffindors. <laughs> I really want Reese Carter to play on Monday night. Is he allowed to? Can he come out of the bubble and play at uh, at Cairns Basketball? I, I don't know that the answer to that question yet. Also, he doesn't think he has shoes, but I feel we can get around that. Taipans in the weave action. Noy, receiver of the three-point shot at the end. Comes up short. Really, he's, he's just going through the roof. Guys are hanging now making those adjustments, whereas before they'd probably just, just drop a barge shoulder. In, just, <laughs> just, barge drop a shoulder. In, just drop the shoulder and yeah, barge just, in just and see just what lodge. Happens. Now you've got the NBL finding. Uh, it, it couldn't have been on more of a silver platter, but Chris Levick overcooking it, but easily put in again by Chris Levick to finish the play. Jarek drawing yeah. the defensive charge. Just read it perfectly giddy. Burrows him down and uh, a great play by Jarek. And he loves it, Jarek. I we what we'll see most from Nathan, Nathan Jawai this year. I've really enjoyed the the effort from the development players. I don't know we've harped on about it, but it is such a critic. Machado exploring now. Offense has stagnated a little bit. Shot clock to eight. Got to get busy. Machado, right hand, left hand. Pull it back. McKing on the offensive board. Challenge it, but Giddy able to get up and get it, rise above King to get pull in the defensive board. Feels like this is the first time we've seen Josh Giddy on the floor for a little while. Four-point game. Giddy, is he able to get the deficit back? Pinder, nice strong move on Machado. It feels like he got whacked. I think he sensed that Machado was going to throw it off the backboard there. So Johnson, great presence of mind to stop that three-on-one play by the Taipans. Middle on ball, Oliver. Machado pushing on the left. Drop-off play. Can't get it to go. Great job by 36 is not to foul. Giddy on the fast break. Takes on Jerry by himself, throws it up. We'll go to the line for two. Heads up play by Giddy. Felt the contact. Went into his shooting motion to ensure he got the two shots. He didn't have the numbers. It was three on three, but he still had the presence of mind to use that speed and at least force the issue that the referee having no, no other choice but to call the foul on Jerick. He did check. If you watch his eyes, he's had a look around. He's assessed what's with him and then made the decision to go. He saw Cam Oliver sag off. Put on the Jets. Force Mirko Jerick to foul. With a chance to cut the lead to five. 36 is trail by five. Brings his total to 13.